உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவளின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ
உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to www.thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub bringing to you a live and exclusive coverage of the Papare Football Championship 2019. Uh, the match week 4 clash between St. Peter's College Colombo and Hamid Al Hussein College Colombo. A blockbuster cl- uh, classic. It has uh, brought uh, several entertaining games in the past. and uh, both teams are uh, looking for crucial points as uh, st peters playing one match against uh, baduria central and losing up in candy and amid al husseini drawing both their games against baduria uh, two all and against st henry's in jaffna a one all draw so amelia having two points with two games and st peters yet to register points after the first game they have a game in hand and it's crucial the losers of uh, today's clash will be out in the first round of the papare football championship for 2019 just a reminder hamid al hussein last year's uh, runners up uh, in spot of bother with only two points and st peters making the quarter finals uh, last year Uh, two need a crucial win today in their home ground as we look at the two team sheets and beaters starting off is Ra- Pratish Ravichandran in goal Miron Kelly Daniel Magrath Akil Nizar Marundu Atukorala Sri Lanka under 16 cap Gayan Rivaldo Mohammad Ehsan 
அர்ஜுனன் பிரவீன் பெனியல் பிரேமச்சா பிரேமநாதன் தரேஷ் தாராச்சி அண்ட் மொஹமத் ஜெய்ட் ஸோ சிம் பீட்டர்ஸ் ஹேவிங் கப்பல் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீலங்கா அண்டர் நைன்டீன் கேப்ஸ் த பிளேம் மிஸ்ஸிங் அவுட் இஸ் மொஹமட் ஷபீர் ரசூனியா இந்த ஸ்ரீலங்கா நேஷனல் கேப் just returned uh, from bangladesh uh, along with the national team as we have a look at uh, amida lusaini mohammed safrin in goal the skipper for amid abdul basit another sri lanka 19 cap mohammed safran mohammed ashim mohammed zulfa mohammed hasan mohammed hussein mohammed sarfan another sri lanka 19 cap mohammed afka chare nixon and ajit prashant leading the line and they are coached by RTG Rahim and of course uh, St Peter's being coached by Dudley Stainwall so two experienced coaches going head to head in this crucial encounter as uh, we await uh, the kick off uh, which is set at uh, 3:30 both teams are uh, going through their final phases a uh, hot and humid day here at Bambalapitiya playing conditions uh, will play a part both teams needing to win today's uh, game so the players to watch out for from Hamid will be Mohammed Safran being among goals and also today they are starting with Mohammed Afka who didn't start the game against Baduria due to an injury he is carrying seems to be okay to start today so that will be the threat for St Peter's on the other hand St Peter's too having couple of experienced players will surely be missing the service of uh, Shabir Razunia who is sitting out So we will go into a short commercial break and we will join you as soon as the two teams take the field and the uh, referee is ready to kick off. So do join us once again on www.thepapre.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports app.
உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ
உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவளின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ டட் யூடியூப் டாட் காம் ஸ்லாஷ் த பப்ரே தமிழ் Hello and welcome back uh, on www.thepapri.com Sri Lanka's number one sports are bringing to you live pictures from St. Peter's College ground The Papri Football Championship, St. Peter's taking on Hamid Al-Husseini We're just about to get the kick-off There was a slight delay with an issue with the jerseys being in similar colours It's all sorted out and ready to go. The final team huddles going through. Very crucial game.
So we are 15 minutes late on the kickoff. The game gonna go into overtime. Good support uh, coming in for the boys uh, from Colombo 12. Hamidou Luseni always carries a good following. Well, and they are up against St. Peter's. Playing in their home for the first time. In this new sports complex. So, Darish Tesarachi sitting over the ball as Peters kick off. And the game's off. Immediately, Akil Nizar looking a bit of uh, isolated. Now, here's Miron Kelly, the skipper. Touch heavy. Already into the box, uh, just in number seven, Safran. I think something he spoke to the referee. So, not the best of start for Hamid. Not even a minute up, and the uh, straight booking. He has to be careful for the rest of the 90 minutes. Daniel McGrath playing in the back. There's a Vixen. Okay. Trying to look for Zaid, Mohamed Zaid. Here's Rickson. First shot coming in from Sarfan. An excellent effort immediately. It's an early test. Daniel Ravichandran. Beg your pardon, Daniel uh, Premanathan giving away the free kick. So, Abdul Basit. And try to go to go go for goal from this distance. Doesn't connect. Nixon trying to look for a long throw. Chare Nixon. St. Peter's under pressure already. A barrage of uh, attack coming in from Hamid Al Hussein. Here's Miron Kelly, the skipper for St. Peter's. Tries to Get out of jail. Finally. Yes, Arjun and Praveen. Mohamed Isan giving away that ball easily. It's 
It's all pressure from Hamid at the moment. And he is... Ajit Prashant caught offside. Rivaldo trying to connect with uh, Mohamed Zaid. Now here's Isan. He draws a foul. So a little bit of uh, pressure getting relieved for St. Peter's. Now here's the first attacking time that St. Peter's are in Hamid half. Now here's Rivaldo. Akil free on this right wing. Now Darish easily dispossessed. But uh, Safran, a spot of bother. So, the opening five minutes, it has all been Hamid al Husseini. Players taking time off to get some. Liquid. It's been a very hot, humid day. And the crowd slowly crawling through, filling the stands. Predominantly Hamid al Husseini supporters. So the referee will ask St. Peter's to give the ball back to Hamid. And that's what they will do. St. Peter's uh, slowly but steadily getting into the game. It's a good cross coming in, looking for Akil on the right. Uh, misjudged the bounce. And somewhat uh, manages to keep it in and uh, get a throw in. It was too far in and couldn't adjust. And the ball was coming towards him. Now here's Afka. Nixon with a high boot. And referee allows it to go on. Defended. Uh, two players from the same club fighting it out, Safran and Praveen, both playing for Javelin. 
so they will know each other very well. So here's Nixon trying to use uh, his long throw ability. Excellent throw and cleared off by Rivaldo. Is it Daresh winning that first battle against Basit? Nixon trying a half volley, not getting it accurately. Pratish not able to collect, but somewhat manages to get a hand. Now here's Zaid uh, releasing Isan on the left. He's the threat for St. Peter's. Tried to take Basit on. Takes a shot. The first save coming in from Safran. Uh, Safrin rather. The skipper for Hamid not being tested so far. That's the first attempt. Poorly judged header by Malindu Atukorala. Ahmed trying to keep position, pushing it from the back. A missed time kick. Lucky for him, didn't fall in the path of Daresh. Now here's Zaid once again, Not having too many players around him. Now here's the opportunity for Hamid, excellently defended by Daniel Magrath, the most experienced player for St. Peter's today. And Ajit Prashant dispossessed. Praveen losing position. Now here's Afkar sending in an early cross. No Hamid player inside the box. Uh, St. Peter's bring it out. Nixon taking a bit too long. And Zaid too. So both teams uh, giving away position easily. Not playing the best of games. Ajit Bashant once again getting blocked. So this is the threat uh, for St. Peter's. The long throws coming in from Nixon and Abdul Basit. Already a close call and another long throw. Now is Afka using his hand to get that ball in control. attempt first time by Shafran not hitting the target but he had had two attempts Isan not having a partner Uh, 
Here's Rivaldo. Bring it out. Trying to find Akil. Here's Safran. Foul going on Hamid Zwe. Abdul Basit playing quickly to Hussein. Here's Afka. Two Peter Wrights going for that ball. So St. Peter's uh, need to defend in numbers and every time they give away a throw in in the attacking half it's been Hamid's a long throw in and it has been uh, worked effectively so far as once again conceding a corner so the first corner coming Hamid al is way Aiming at the front post. Uh, he releases Isan. Was not able to keep that ball in control. And once again, Zaid. That was a poor pass. And here's uh, Ajit Prasad. And a good opportunity to put his team ahead. Ajit Prasad hitting way off the target. Aiming at the rugby post, I guess. He had the far post clearly. Available. And now here's St. Peter's. Immediately trying to take advantage of the, the numbers uh, of Hamid players. Moved up front. media playing from the back quickly not the best of uh, routines as he has Akil Nizar with an opportunity didn't take that shot and tried to keep that ball in play now he has Rivaldo and getting a foul initially fouled by Hamid al Husseini Mohamed Ashim roughly let the play go so a rare opportunity for St. Peter's inside Hamid's uh, half. The off the camera, St. Peter's goalkeeper, Pradesh Ravichandran, is having a slight issue. Uh, must have as a uh, Referee Hall's play. Now here's Praveen. This will be an uh, in-swinger. More uh, likely it is uh, somewhat easy sometimes for the goalkeepers when it's an in-swing. You know it is uh, going towards you. It goes to goal but pretty tame effort. Easily taken by Safreen. That's not going to trouble him. A 
Benyel pushing his man. Now immediately the pressure falling on to the Peters. Half. Akil a lot of space in front of him and he does try to take, meets two men easily. But Hussain is there to cover. Now here's Rivaldo finding Zaid, finding a pass to his son. A bit too further for him. Excellent nutmeg. Trying to look for Daresh, not having him on the same wavelength. Sarfan clearing it away for Sam Hamid. Now he has Ajit Prashant taking on Rivaldo. Turns his man and gets blocked and St. Peter's get it cleared away. No nonsense uh, from Malindu. Atukorala just clearing it away. This will be another long throw attempt uh, from Hamid. Which has uh, troubled St. Peter's defend at the back. Ajit Prasant in front of goal. Just needed to direct it towards goal. Once again he goes over. Uh, an easy opportunity. More than the one he had previously. Peters defenders. Looking at each other. We are 20 minutes on the game, still nil all. It's a beaters and here's Isan needing some support. Looking for a cross straight at Abdul Basit. The 219 players, uh, Mohamed Zaid, that's the barge from the back. Mohamed Ashim unnecessary, right in front of goal. Some excellent work by Mohamed Isan on that left wing. Too bad he's not having a strike partner on equal grounds. Looks like Daniel McGrath is the one who's going to take this. We'll have to wait and see if it's the right boot of Daniel or the left of Arjun and Praveen. Uh, the wasted free kick from McGrath. Not hitting the target. A crime with a free kick. In front of goal and in a game where you are struggling. Oh, 
Only do letting it bounce. Now he has Amid. Not able to find that final pass. But Ajit Prasant has got two opportunities to take the lead and to increase. Didn't take either. Now here's Afka taking on Miran Kelly. Blocked away by Malindu. Excellent defending by the young man. So it's a substitution coming in early. Ovindu Atukoral, number 20. Looks like he's going to replace uh, Daresh Tisarachi, the young man. Not at the best of uh, 25 minutes. So, Ovindu Atukoral going into that uh, centre forward position as a long throw comes in. Cleared away. Another cross. Now here's Isan with an opportunity to run. And not finding a pass. Here's Mohamed Zaid. The bit of space. Keeps the ball. As a uh, Showers fall upon and make the game more interesting. It'll make the field a bit more pace here. Yes, Isan looking for a kill. The pass not reaching him. Niron keeping the ball in play. Rivaldo taking Chafran on. Now here's Zaid trying to find the pass first time. With a poor touch. Chafran being fouled. The game has slowed down quite a bit. And here's Abdul Basit. Neither defender not reading. Goalkeeper not reading. Lucky for them. Ball going close. So now Akil Nizar seems to be having a problem. Gone down clutching his uh, groin as both teams will take this uh, time to rehydrate. You can catch all the action replays if you visit our YouTube channel on www.youtube.com slash the proper official. All replays, highlights and much more on all the sports covered across Sri Lanka. Yeah. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub having their official YouTube channel. So you can subscribe and be entertained with all the sports. Just restarting with the goal kick to goal St. Peter's, who have been the second best throughout this uh, 30 minutes. Uh, cross coming in, 
Pratish, Ravi Chandran, Lucky. Didn't read that cross. An excellent cross by Mohamed Hussain. So St. Peter's looking to make another substitute as the, once again a poor, poor goal kick. So Akil Nizar seems to be coming off and will be replaced by Brandon Aldo. A draw is not good for Hamid Al Hussein, especially being their last game of the group and drawing both the games previously. You can see the intent from the team from the get go. They want to push for a win, and they are cont continuously doing that, and putting St. Peter's under pressure every time they have the ball. Using his hand, Hashim. So Brandon Aldo will slot into the midfielder's role, and Gayan Rivaldo will move out. The cross finds him. There's a lot of space, but a heavy pass. Ovindu Atukorala wouldn't have been able to stop that in any way as we approach 30 minutes in this game. As we are speaking, Hamid Al Hussein need a win. A draw is not enough. St. Peter's, on the other hand, have a game in hand against St. Henry's, who is also sitting pretty with four points. And the other school in the group, uh, Baduria, two. Having four points out of three games. Uh, from the time of the draw, we have called this the group of death. The reason being one of the top schools will be going out. So it could be either Hamid al Husseini, St. Peter's, St. Andres, or Bazuria. So Mohamed Hashim. Not feeling really well. Hamid once again. Trying to build up. Afka has been away from the game for a while in this left wing. Oh, here's Ovindu. He tried to find Rivaldo. Afka being pressurized. Miron Kelly. Arjun and Praveen looking for his son. An excellent ball, but he ably defended well. But the number six, Mohamed Zulfar, for Hamid. He read that pass very well. If not, Hamid would be in trouble with his son. Is it taking his time? Getting caught. He too have been too slow in reacting for passes. Yeah. 
It's a referee giving a foul against St. Peter's. That's a high ball. Headed away initially. Yeah, Ajit Prashant looking for a shot. And does get his shot, but not finding the target. Pretty wayward. So, St. Peter's will be relieved. Aldo trying to look for Windu. Partially it blocked. There is Afka. Taking three guys. Taking three on. Couldn't get that shot properly. As Pratish uh, collects. Now as Rivaldo. The touch eluding him as the ball run away. Here's Nixon weaving his way through, finding Ajit Prasant. Blocked away. Blocked away for a corner. So another attacking opportunity, a dead ball situation, as uh, Ahmad Hassan. Comes all the way from the right wing to take this corner. Going far post. Uh, St. Peter's gleefully cleared it away. Another long throw by Abdul Basit. Nixon that time. He has been taking chances with those shots. It will be a, a time where that will connect and will end up hitting the back of the net. Uh, here's Aldo finding Rivaldo. Rivaldo going in field. That's not the effort uh, what they would want to do. They're building up the move. Trying to go for a shot so far away. It's a difficult technique. And if you can master that, yeah, of course, why not? Ajit Prashant once again covered by three. Afka switching the play from left to right. Once again, Ajit Prashant weaving his way through a crowded area and not able to get a shot or a pass. Another long throw coming in. The second ball, an excellent save initially. Uh, defenders are looking at the bounce and waiting for a favorable bounce. Pratish Ravitandran 
did well with the initial shot. Got a hand to it onto the post. And the Hamid forwards were waiting for the ball to drop. See if we can get a replay of uh, that uh, moment. We we'll just have the play going on at the moment. So, now here's eight once again. Now here's Afka. Cleared away. Zaid finding Aldo. He has Ovindu overrun. An overlap and he will try to run. Keeps the ball in play. It looks like it's a foul coming uh, St. Peter's way. A good delivery. He will try a test uh, Safreen in goal. So we'll have the replay of that save. The initial save was excellent. There you go. Hand to the post. Now Nixon and Ajit Prashant both waiting for the ball to bounce. As we go with live action. And a clear opening header. Daniel McGrath. He climbed high. I did not get that uh, purchase in that header. Should have done better, the tall man. Now here's Afka, weaving his way. Now Nixon seems to be having an injury. So now, Hamid al -Husseini. they came close to score, and Nixon move away, and as Miran Kelly clears it out, Abdul Basit playing an advanced role. Shafran finding Hussein and draws the corner. So this is the critical period. We are just coming close to half time St. Peter's would not want to concede holding on for 43 minutes as the corner comes in not the clear easiest of headers but St. Peter's come away it's Rivaldo Brandon Aldo giving chase 
Ajit Prashant. On to the corner. Cleared away. Now here's the ball coming, looking for his son. A favorable bounce is what he wants. He does get. But he's have a poor touch. Takes it away. He did not have much support as well. Media once again getting into good positions and not taking advantage of the chances and the position they get into. The overhead attempt by Sarfan this time. Some Peters need to compose themselves for this final minute and go to the break without conceding and re regroup, re strategize for the second half as referee Jatilaka calls half time here at Bambalapitiya. St. Peter's College holding on Amid Al Husseini. To a goalless first half, it has been Hamid Al Husseini throughout the first half. That's the half-time confirmation. St. Peter's College nil, Hamid Al Husseini nil. The Papare Football Championship 2019 Match Week 4 encounter, a crucial one for both teams. So do join us uh, once again with live pictures after the break. Here on www.thepapare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, sharing the passion. Parking mona the grand bull. Parking
உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ
Pial Pak Hakim mau ngadegaran peluang. Pak Hakim. Hello and welcome back. Uh, you're live on www.thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports are bringing you live action of the Papare Football Championship 2019. St. Peter's uh, hosting Amid Al Husseini. It has been an entertaining game so far. In the first half, it's Hamid Al Husseini who was uh, dominating the play. Creating a lot of chances. And uh, it's Hamid Al Husseini who will kick off proceedings in the second half. It's nil all. Uh, Tuan Nadir comes in as a substitute in the midfield. Looks 
looks like Ajit Prashant has been withdrawn. And Sarfan playing in an advanced role. Nadir, very composed player on the ball. Sabida is now attacking from right to left on your screens. An early chance. The cross comes in. Pradesh Ravichandran calling it. Hisan pressurizing. Sabida has been lacking the support up front. For Isan. They are missing the services of uh, Shabir Razunia. Haven't uh, been in the country as uh, the referee in the far post. Have raised his flag. Uh, it's a clear header. But Chafran missing that header. Ah, here's Isan, closely marked, does well, as Abdul Basit now blocks it and takes a quick throw in, now here's Zaid, needing support, looking for support. So many and let it run. Yes, Rivaldo tussling it out with Afka. Shot getting blocked uh, by Sarfan. Excellent cross coming in. Uh, here's Mohamed Zaid. Linking up with Rivaldo. The referee calls back play for a foul earlier. He let the advantage uh, go. And call back as soon as the advantage was lost. Oh, here's Isan. And excellently covered. Praveen, a poor cross. Just go straight to the goalkeeper. Red well, Praveen, that pass. Benyan was beaten up. Using his hand, Hassan.
referee calling a foul throw on the St. Peter's man. Another change coming in for St. Peter's. I've already made uh, two changes. Ball appeal coming from the spectators, not on the field. Yes, he's on isolated up front. He needs support. The young man not having any support up front. Yes, he's on. Trying to find uh, Zaid. The pass too heavy. He had an opportunity to go further. After taking on three, he opted to pass. Now we do Atul Kerala being subbed by Mohammad Aftab. As Aftab will slot into the midfield role. And he has an opportunity for Isan to run at. He did not make the run into the box. That would have put him in a good position as the defender was chasing. Now he is sending in a cross. The far post, uh, Gayan Rivaldo not able to keep it in. Here, Hamid. They have been starting a play from the back. Jafran keeps it in play. Now, here's the overlap. Not getting the first time cross. The cross does comes in. Ricochet is off uh, Sarfan. It's a long hanging kick by the goalkeeper. Of St. Peter's. Trying to get a foothold in this game. They've been playing good in this uh, couple of minutes. Been trying to string some passes together. After missing it out on that occasion. So an attacking move uh, from Hamid. Safran going into the box. And referee rightly calls a foul. Praveen getting into the wrong side. So, good uh, attacking position for Hamid. 
Yes, Afra. Going around Arjun and Praveen. And he lays his hand on to commit that foul. So Hamid having numbers inside the box. And it's going to be Mohammed Hassan. An excellent keeping by Ravi Chandran. And Afka going into the box for a late challenge on the goalkeeper. So Patish Ravichandran does well to collect that ball. As we approach the hour mark, still deadlock. Here you see, comes high, fumbles it, recovers a high boat from Afka catching him. Now here's Isan releasing Zaid on this left. Ahmad Zaid with an opportunity. Isan switching play. Miron Kelly moving it wide. Rivaldo gets a cross in. Arjun and Praveen with an attempt. Slicing it away. Brandon Aldo switching the play to Rivaldo. Looking for support. Aftab gives the ball away again. And a good defensive tackle by Kirli. St. Peter's uh, steadily coming forward. And this will give opportunity for Hamid as well in the back. As spacers open up. Here's Isan again. Taking Zaid on. A shot is on. Rivaldo converts. Gayan Rivaldo scores. As St. Peter's take a lead. They have been playing well in the last couple of minutes. An excellent work in the midfield by Isan and then Mohamed Zaid. Isan releasing Mohamed Zaid and Mohamed Zaid. There you see the back heel releasing him. Goes to goal. Miss kicks, but Rivaldo arriving on the far post, taps it into an empty net. St. Peter's has taken a surprise lead here at Bumblepitia at the hour mark. So, Hamid Al Husseini, a lot of work to do. Remember, a draw is not enough for Hamid Al Husseini, they need a win. And hope games go in favor of them. So now St. Peter's have to defend and play well in this uh, final 30 minutes. A long hanging ball, easy collection for Pratish.
Hafta being somewhat slow in the midfield. Hamid have increased the pace. Here's Nixon. Ball going ping pong. Afka not getting a shot. So relentless pressure coming in from Hamid. Looking for an equalizer. Oh, Butuan Nadir. Having a heavy touch. St. Peter's need to make sure they don't go into a shell. And here's Mohamed Hisan with another opportunity. Abdul Basit uh, covering up. As the ball run away for a corner. Excellent work by Abdul Basit. He saw the danger of Mohamed Hisan. As we are saying, St. Peter's need to keep that uh, same intensity. How they got the goal. They should not go into a shell. And that will give the upper hand to Amid. So in swinging corner, it's going to come from Mohammed Isan. It's only three men up front for St. Peter's as Safran collects. St. Peter's has not pushed too many into the corner as Benial gets it cleared. As Apatish uh, holding on. Zaid, once again, having option of uh, Ehsan, running out of uh, ground, goes around his play, beats his man easily, takes in across, Safrin, this time, making sure he collects, before St. Peter's forwards arrive. Now, Miron Kelly. That was a close attempt. A close call for St. Peter's. Miron Kelly completely missing the clearance. Sarfan with a good left foot going agonizingly close. Here you see Miron Kelly missing that clearance completely. Sarfan with a first time effort attempt. So it's been lucky for St. Peter's so far. Here's Aldo. One Nadir King for Hassan. Living dangerously, St. Peter's cleared it away by Praveen. Danger still not over. Now 
Now Malindu screens it away. SMP does once again. Relieving the pressure that came their way. So foul by Basit. Having his hand high up. So looks like Hamid gonna make a change to on Mohammed being ready as another free kick. Coming closer was a Mohammed Isan. Pratish now will try to go long and far. Once again, Sarfan is poor from both the players. Malindu Atukarala in the first attempt not clearing. Sarfan's touch too. So we approach 70 minutes on the clock. It's Peters who's leading a goal to nil through Gayan Rivaldo scoring in the hour mark. Hamid not letting this go easy. As Isan with a two on one opportunity. Threads in a beautiful ball. Aftab running a bit too uh, much ahead. Tuan Nadir being penalized. Uh, much of the anguish of the Hamid supporters are not really happy. In that call, as now Gayan Rivaldo, the goal scorer, looks to be suffering from cramp. So Nixon pulled off, and we have Tuan Muhammad coming into the midfield. So Hamid Al Husseini trying everything. They have 20 minutes. 20 minutes to recover. As last year's uh, runners up, they have been struggling in this year's tournament. Daniel McGrath will try to go long. Just have two men to target. Mohamed Isan and Mohamed Zaid. As the cross comes in, the ball goes towards uh, Mohamed Safreen. An excellent through ball. Abdul Basit. And both referees colliding. The goalkeeper and the player collided initially. Referee wave played on. Then Malindu Atukorala then went on 
cleared the lines. Yeah, we see Pratish went for the collection. An excellent tackle by uh, Malindu Atukorala. He got the ball first. And Basit went over him. So the correct call by the referee. Pratish seems to be okay. Another long throw coming in from Hamid, headed away by Daniel Magrath. So Abdul Basit will once again try to send this ball long. He has an opportunity. Mohamed Zulfa should have done better. This has been the case for Hamid Al Hussein in front of goal. They get into good opportunities, good positions. But the final shot going all over the crossbars. Peters have pulled men back and have left Mohamed Isan up front. Miran Kelly. Oh, yes, Brandon Aldo. Can he find Mohamed Isan? Mohamed Zaid sends in the ball to Mohamed Isan. Wins the corner. And a very important corner to make vital seconds go by and to move the play into Hamid's half. And that is where St. Peter's want to be. And this is where Hamid al Husseini don't want to be. They want to be on the opposite side as they are the ones searching for an equalizer. All this uh, added time will go into the referee's uh, clock. We will have minimum of three to four minutes of added time after 90 minutes. Once again, St. Peter is not committing too many into the corner. As uh, Gayan Rivaldo. No St. Peter's player in that half. As Abdul Basit gets the tackle in and wins the throw in as well. Ah, here's Afka. He's been a lost figure in this uh, second half. Haven't got on the ball too many times. Abdul Basit shielding that ball, winning that throw in. This is almost a corner for Hamid. They have been using this long throw in for much effective. As once again this comes in. Almost headed into his own net. So, a corner now. Mohamed Hassan going to swing it in. Pratish coming out of his line. And the volley once again by Sarfan.
Pratish going long. Isan. Brandon Aldo not being strong as Hamid once again coming in headed away now Afka once again attempting really not sure what they are trying they haven't been successful in those uh, long range attempts they are a much better team than uh, shooting it from that range They could easily work their way into the box as uh, Mohammed Zaid now trying to push some pressure. Shafran, he's been missing in this second half. He was booked earlier as the game started. Must have played in his head. And here's Isan, turns his man. Needs support. Once again, turns his man. Finds in a cross. Mohammed Zaid. The ball bouncing all over. Both the players struggling to get that ball. As we approach the final 10 minutes, it's now or never for Hamid Al Husseini. Well defended by Malindu on Abdul Basit, who has played an advanced role in this game. A flicked on header as Amit wins a corner and here comes another change. Halim Ramlan. As he will replace at the defender. Well defended. The shot comes in. Abdul Basit wins the corner once again. So St. Peter's living anxiously. And this in swinger comes in. Daniel McGrath climbs high. Afka takes the ball away. An excellent block by Miron Kelly, the skipper. They know they need to work hard. They need to work hard in this final 10 minutes. Another long throw. Flicked on, Pratish collects it gleefully. He will take his time in getting this ball upfield. Go straight out. So here's Marco Dizanayaka making a substitution. It's going to be the goal scorer, Gayan Rivaldo, who comes off. Had an excellent game. So an attacker being replaced by a defender. So St. Peter's wants to hold on to this lead. A dangerous ploy with still 10 minutes to go. Here's Afka arriving on the far post. Really not convincing he was in taking that shot.
Zambida is once again going long. Two giving chase. Continuous uh, attack coming. Both the players going for the ball. Both players hitting each other with the ball. So, so now, tough time. As a referee blows uh, to settle things and get the player up. Now here's Isan. His first touch, uh, not the best. Another long ball. Another corner for Hamid Al Husseini. They have got plenty of corners their way, first half and in the second half. Zaid clearing it away. Now Hisan sending it long. Trying to get the team upfield. Sambida needs to move up. The ball still remains in play. The Petra is not moving up too much. As Zaid wins the ball. A little bit of Aji Baji. Nerves coming in. The foul going uh, St. Peter's way. So Hamid, the uh, player, not really happy. It's a good opportunity for players to come up. Just sending in the tall lad, Marco Di Sanayak, into the box. And here's Pravin. It's a good cross in with the far post. A bit too much power in that. As Hamid keeps it in play. And they need to rush back into St. Peter's half. Amiran Kelly gets there first. The long ball looking for Basit. Abdul Basit. He knows the importance of this uh, game. He knows the time's running out. He's trying all his best to get the play on. The play started on quickly. But the Pete Wright's having none of it. Another long ball looking for Mohamed Zaid. Safran having an overlap run. Hassan. Safran again gets the second ball. Goes dribbling. And wins the corner. So another corner for Hamid. Another attempt. Once again, going over the crossbar. This time round, Halim Ramblan. It's been about five to six chances on similar areas where Hamid have hit over the crossbar. They haven't bought their scoring boots today to Bambalapitiya. As uh, Mohamed Shafran gives way to number four, Mohamed Rishad. So the goal threat of Mohamed Shafran is now contained for St. Peter's, but it's not over yet. As Mohamed Zaid and Isan trying to work things for the Pete Wrights.
St. Peter's breaking play of Amit and giving running space to Mohamed Isan. Malindu defending well and winning that free kick. Much of the relief of the Peterites. Just a couple of minutes left on the clock. Plus added time. Whatsoever the referee will give. It's been an entertaining encounter. No quarter given or taken. These both schools have a long history of uh, having nail-biting games. Zarchan and Praveen launches this ball high up the field. Well defended by Hamid. Abdul Basit. Man all alone. As Malindu Atukorala slides it in. Abdul Basit throwing in an arm. Frustration creeping into the young lad. As the free kick comes in. This could be the one last opportunity. For Hamid to salvage a point. Remember a point is not enough for Hamid al -Husseini. They will be bowing out of the Papari Football Championship 2019. As the other two schools in Henry's and uh, Baduria. Have four points each. St. Henry's will be the game to go against St. Peter's. And Hamid being the last match for them. And a poor free kick. Miran Kelly has none of it. Puts it out of play. The draw will only be, be for pride for Hamid al -Husseini. There's a shot coming in. An excellent goal. Tuan Nadir scores in the 90th minute for Hamid. <laughs> Hamid Alusaini need another goal, a brilliant type. They have been trying this for a long time, and every shot has been gone over the crossbar. But this time, and hit in the back of the net. But Hamid will need another goal to keep them in the tournament. Now here's Praveen opening up to Zaid. Mohamed Zaid. Now St. Peter's with the final opportunity. Now here Zaid, weaving his way through in. Now here's the final move coming up. <laughs> Abdul Basit offside, clearly offside. The referee haven't seen it. A clear offside. Number eight. Now here's Isan. Can St. Peter salvage a win? Mohamed Isan driving his way. Takes a tame effort. Should have done better. All to play for. Run straight into his man. And St. Peter's wins that free kick. They are at the advantage. But the referee brings up play.
So now, on the added time, in injury time we are, and Hamid still searching for a win. They have been the better team throughout the 90 minutes. St. Peter's in pockets have been excellent. And they have been excellent in the defence. As now Brandon Eldo brings that ball upfield. And gets a foul. Going to be a yellow card. It will be Mohammed Hussein who goes into the box. Could well be the final play. Daniel McGrath sends that ball long. His son holding off his man, turning him around. Getting in across, straight to Safreen. Who looks to launch this far. And that's the end of the game. And that's the end of the tournament for Hamid Al Hussein, who will bow out with three draws, with three points. St. Peter's still have a game in hand with St. Henry's. And that will be so as we conclude here at Bambalapitiya. St. Peter's won. Hamid Al Hussein won. The game has been an entertaining game. Our media supporters frustrated with the draw as uh, the match ends, as the players uh, shake hands. We'll have a look at the highlights of this second half. Hamid kicking off, they have been the better team. St. Peter's came into the game somewhat and scored in the 60th minute through Guy and Rivaldo. A goal and here Tuan Nadir finally hitting the target after so many attempts. After so many attempts at goal, but too late for Hamid Al Husseini as uh, they bow out of the Papari Football Championship 2019, the last year finalist going out in the group stage. St. Peter's won, Hamid Al Husseini won from Bambalapitiya. It's been an entertaining game. This is Irshad Ashim Deen signing off along with the technical and the production team. Do join us uh, once again for uh, another entertaining encounter on the Papari Football Championship on www.thepapri.com sharing the passion